G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, the market, it's still topsy-turvy all over the place. Bitcoin had that brief run and then has fallen back. But the market cap, which is uh, staying over a trillion dollars at the moment, which is really nice. And Bitcoin dominance uh, has gained a little bit. And so ETH and altcoin dominance uh, have dropped a little bit. But look, it's still all about the alts at the moment. I mean, just have a look at the gas prices at the moment for ETH. So everyone's still trying to chase the altcoins and all the rest of it. And look, fair game as well, because that's where most of the gains are being made. But how long is this, how long is this going to last? Bitcoin won't keep going down forever. We are still in the full thick of a bull market. So my guess is we don't have too much longer before this is going to turn around. And when it does turn around, it is going to go hard. We already had this happen around sort of July uh, to around about sort of October last year. We had that, you know, kind of DeFi bubble that people talked about. Bitcoin just kind of didn't do anything and was slowly pulling back. And, the, you know, all the altcoins were just going crazy. And then out of a sudden, Bitcoin just went on another big run and the altcoins really started to bleed. I think that's what we're building up to right now. Uh, exactly when it's going to turn around, I don't know. I think we're getting close, to be honest. I just can't tell you exactly when, but it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't happen in the next few days to a week. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, educated guess, that is all it is, not financial advice. All right, what's really mooned? All right, Dogecoin just you know, starting to make more moves again. But look, it is still down a bit from where it was a while ago. So, you know, maybe there's more to Dogecoin. Maybe there isn't. Uh, XRP having a nice pump. But again, there's talk that maybe it's sort of manufactured and all the rest of it. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I've got my small bag of XRP left, so I'm happy with, oh, excuse me, whatever happens. The graph, nice. Psycoin. Uh, compound so look we got some really nice moves there nothing sort of too crazy anymore over the 24 hour period but no one's upset with you know 30 percent or 20 percent gains look in all fairness no one's even happy with five percent gains in 24 hours you know that is uh, you know more than a right but what about losses do we have any big losses no, we don't. Voyager token, but I mean, look, it's up 177, nearly 200% in seven days. Uh, and again, it's starting to make its way back up now in the hour. Uh, so a 12% loss in 24 hours is not so bad. Same thing with loop rings up 20% in seven days, so down 8%. Uh, look, none of these losses are really too bad. Kyber, come on, buddy. Uh, I bought more Kyber, you know, getting all excited about uh, Kyber, you know, sort of 3.0. Uh, and they're going to have a, you know, they're going to revamp the coin and, you know, start to have a crack at Uniswap and Sushi uh, Swap and all the rest of it. So, you know, hopefully Kyber's going to come through. I mean, I'm still happy with Kyber. I love that I get paid out in Ethereum. It's just the fees that are killing me at the moment. Come on, Kyber. You know, let's get going. But again, none of these losses are too bad. I mean, even Synthetics Network, you know, it's traveling kind of sideways at the moment, but... Uh, I think there's still way more upside. There you go. Even Uniswap. I mean, up, you know, 47% for the week. Uh, and down just a little bit from here. So some okay gains uh, and no really big losses. I mean, if the worst loss uh, for 24 hours uh, is Voyager's 13%, considering it went up 200%, I don't think anyone is complaining, uh, you know, unless you bought right at the top, then yeah, that's going to hurt a little bit. But, you know, do your own research, work out where we are, are in a cycle and make your mind up about whether, you know, now's the time to panic sell or to just simply hold. All right, here we go. This is the biggie. So while this hasn't played out exactly in line with my little squiggle, it still has played out pumped up and now it's rolled over a bit so pumped up rolled over now we're just waiting to see what happens i really think you know this downward sort of movement from bitcoin is getting close to an end you know we can go back to here so this was the high the 8th of january so this has already been going for three weeks so i really would be surprised if we have much more i mean if you go to the monthly chart so let's go to monthly charts and let's see how many red months you have in a bull run. So really, this is kind of where the bull run started last time. You had two, one, one, one. 
and that was it. So generally, you're really unlucky if you have two months worth of downward action, and we've already had basically a month. So look, is it possible we have another one? Yeah, possible, but I just, yeah, I don't know. I think in the next sort of week, we're probably gonna have a bit of a move, and I think Bitcoin is gonna do something like this. Could be completely wrong, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, look what the monthly is looking like at the moment. So it's green still, but it's an indecision candle. So, you know, this month hasn't closed red yet. Uh, and, you know, again, it wouldn't surprise me if it did sort of come downwards and got down to 29-ish sort of thousand dollars uh, before it then sort of flips around. Well, actually, this is the start, so fe February 1st. All right, so there you go. That's why it's an indecision candle. It's still too early. All right, but as I said, in a bull market, whoa, I've got a big storm going here. You can, I don't know if you can hear that in the uh, background, lightning and thunder, but again, Two monthly down candles uh, in a bull run, that's generally as bad as it gets. Uh, and in this sort of one, I mean, you know, you could say we've already had a couple, so we'll wait and see. Let's get back to the daily, because that's really what I like to look at. All right. All right, took a little while, but there we go. All right, so again, I do think this is going to roll over and we may see some more downside for another few more days, but I really would be surprised if we saw much more downside. And look, there's reasons that I think that. So number one, Bitcoin subreddit hits 2 million subscribers following GameStop controversy. Look, there's a lot of people who are probably like myself and most likely are similar to you who are thinking that we're finally realizing just how rigged Wall Street and all that kind of stuff is uh, and the whole money markets and everything. And they're probably jack of it and are ready to get out of that system and move to something like Bitcoin or just cryptocurrencies in general that are you know more decentralized. Don't get me wrong, they're still somewhat centralized uh, to certain points, but that won't last forever if people start suddenly coming across. Uh, you know, people will just, you know, those uh, who hold big bags will just naturally start to sell. Now, it's about how, you know, when they sell and how much and all the rest of it that will really affect the price. But I do think cryptocurrencies is the, f the future. And I think these big central uh, organizations know it, uh, know they're in trouble. And so they're quickly trying to find ways to position themselves here so they just don't become redundant. All right. Something else that makes me bullish. So NFL player gets a myriad of celebrities to add Bitcoin hashtag to their Twitter profiles. So it's kind of blowing up at the moment. And that is a good, uh, you know, feel for where the market is. If there's a lot of stuff going on social uh, media about cryptocurrencies and things like that, probably the chances are it's getting ready to do uh, another pump because it has been a little bit quiet for a while. But Elon Musk has come out. So we go over here. Elon Musk, the billionaire founder of Tesla, has said he thinks the cryptocurrency Bitcoin is on the verge of breaking into traditional finance. 100% it is. It's not even on the verge. It is currently happening. Musk, who revealed last month he is open to being paid in Bitcoin, made the comments during an interview on the app Clubhouse. I do at this point think Bitcoin is a good thing, Musk told a packed Clubhouse chat room. I am a supporter of Bitcoin. I am late to the party, but a supporter. Bitcoin is on the verge of getting broad acceptance by the traditional finance people. Absolutely agree. I think big things are going to come and we can go over here. Uh, and this is Rao Powell. He is saying that he expects Bitcoin to get to $300,000. Uh, and again, there's a lot of reports out there of people thinking this. Citibank had a leaked report saying 400000 Plan B uh, and his stock to flow ratio model. Uh, 288,000. Uh, you know, Rao Paul, 300,000. Uh, BitBoy believes 200 and uh, something thousand. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people out there. You know, I honestly don't know what price it's going to get to. I would be surprised if it didn't make it to at least 100,000. But in saying that, I wouldn't be surprised if it did get to 100,000. I'd be surprised if we started pushing around that $400,000 mark. Uh, if we were at that price, even I'd be going like, holy cow where is this about to go uh, i am more thinking somewhere about you know 100 150 000, but again that's a fairly conservative if i wanted to be optimistic 
yeah, I think 300,000, you know. If I wanted to be optimistic, like really kind of putting it out there, other than the 400,000, that's just total moon boy stuff. Uh, yeah, 300,000, I think it's possible. I really do think more around the 100 to 150. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. And look, I hope that I'm wrong about the 100, 150, and it is 300. I'll be, you know, cheering. I'll be so happy like everybody else. But that is my reasoning for thinking that big things are coming in the market uh, and I don't think Bitcoin is going to stay in this downward action for too much longer. In saying that, when Bitcoin starts to pump, I think you're going to see a lot of profits uh, from these alts uh, draining back into Bitcoin. So if you haven't taken some profits now, uh, consider it. It's never financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But I do think Bitcoin is probably getting ready to go on another big run. Uh, it still might be a, you know, a week or so away, but I don't think it's going to last much more than a week. But hey, look, I've been wrong before and I could be wrong again. Let me know down below what you think. Do you think Bitcoin is getting ready to go on another big run or do you still think we have more uh, downside to come? And how much more downside? How long do you think it's going to last? What price do you think it's going to go down to? I'd love to know your thoughts. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're all on that game train and I'll see you next time.